Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to talk about gold and the fact that price or buyers are holding firm at the moment. Now what I mean by that is we've had quite a fairly strong day for the US dollar and if I go to the daily chart here on gold you can see that at the moment we're kind of just forming a very low range candlestick in here if I go to the four hour time frame we've really just been holding at these lows here there's not been really any kind of uh, breach of those yet we haven't seen price break those lows we haven't seen price push to the downside now we do have some important FOMC data coming out tomorrow and we did talk about gold recently as a potential to move back to the upside now I'm just going to go to the monthly time frame because the monthly is really interesting at the moment because you can see we're back down at this range low where we've had multiple support uh, in the past and price has rallied. So we're looking to see if this range will hold again. Will that data from the Fed allow us to see price push back to the upside for gold and are we going to see price potentially trade back towards the highs of 1975? Now, if that's the case, what I'd like to see for gold is a little bit of a break higher. Now, what's quite nice is if we look at this daily chart, we can see that we had a very strong bullish candlestick in here. We've then just kind of consolidated around that close, which is quite interesting. We haven't kind of sunk lower to test the lows of that bullish candlestick. If anything, we're just kind of holding above the highs, which suggests to me that I think if we break this daily candlestick high, which is a strong possibility going into tomorrow's session, if we were to break that high, uh, the current day's high, which is around about 1728, I think there could be a strong possibility, especially if we could trade above this candlestick here, that we could trade back up towards the 1806s. Uh, we could see price well up to this sort of area in here, um, where the market has found some support most recently um, so if price was to break that high i think we could be heading towards that area there if we will dive down lower slightly we can see that you know if anything we've got this kind of consolidative pattern forming here where price is just kind of bouncing between uh, these two sort of levels at the moment so it'd be interesting to see how price reacts here on gold do we see a break above these highs retest move to the upside or does price just flush through these highs we've already broken resistance you can see over here we've broken through multiple highs in here so that's another strong case that we could be moving to the upside it's just going to depend again how that news is going to go and unfortunately for us um you know, a couple of the markets that we're analysing at the moment are just still sitting around waiting to do something because of that news this week. And that's likely the, the same for, for most pairs at the moment. We are seeing a bit of a, a strong dollar today. Uh, stocks have declined slightly. Um, so that's put a bit of pressure um, on risk a assets. But gold holding firm here. And if price can break these highs, I think it could be a good idea to start looking for moves potentially back up to this $1,800 level um, through there. So keep an eye on gold. It's going to be an interesting day tomorrow. We'll see what happens with the Fed news and we'll do an update after that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more Forex trading content. And I'll catch you in the next video.